So here is question number 46 everyone. Assertion. Electric potential at a point on axial line of short dipole is double of the potential at the same distance at point on equatorial line of the short dipole. We know very well the electric potential at axial position is given by P upon 4 pi epsilon naught r square due to short dipole. On the other hand at equatorial position it is what? Zero. Assertion goes wrong. Now let's talk about the reason. Electric field varies linearly with distance. Now we know very well for point charge electric field is inversely proportional to R square and for short dipole it is proportional to 1 by R cube. This is for short dipole and here it is for point charge. So reason is also contradicting our result. So that's why reason is also wrong. Reason goes wrong, assertion goes wrong, we can opt for option number 4 which is absolutely correct. Now move on to the next that is 47 number. So here is question number 47 everyone. Assertion. In a photo shell, magnitude of saturation current depends on the intensity of incident light. Yes, this is absolutely correct. Assertion is true. For a photo cell, the saturation current depends on the intensity of incident light. So more is the intensity, more will be the number of photons incidented and so more will be the saturation current. So assertion is true. Let's talk about the reason. If the separation of source of light from the photo cell increases, then the magnitude of stopping potential remains same. First of all, stopping potential is independent of intensity. We know very well. stopping potential is independent of intensity it depends upon frequency of incident light so frequency is not going to change whether you increase the separation distance whether you decrease the separation so since frequency constant therefore stopping potential constant we can opt for reason that is true so, assertion is true, reason is true, but they are not interlinked, they are not connected. That's why for option number 2, which is absolutely correct. Now move on to the next, that is 48 number. So, here is question number 48 everyone. Assertion, a planet moves faster when it is closer to the sun in its orbit and vice versa. Now, we know very well, if this is orbit of the planet and uh, here is the sun. Initially, the planet is right here. Sometimes after planet is right here, this is distance r1. Mass of planet will be same everywhere. This is distance r2. Speed here, suppose v1. Speed here, suppose v2. Their angular momentum will be conserved and hence, therefore, we can write m1 v1 r1 equals m2 v2 r2. m2 and m1 both will be cancelled out. v1 upon v2 will get us r2 upon r1. From here it is clear that the speed of the planet is inversely proportional to the distance from the sun. So when it is closer to the sun its speed will be more. Okay, Less will be the distance more will be the speed. So assertion is true. Now let's talk about the reason. Aerial velocity of the planet in an orbit is constant. Now aerial velocity given by dA upon dt which is equal L by 2m. Now if aerial velocity will be constant this implies that the angular momentum is constant or conserved then only we can apply the things written in the assertion. So that's why assertion is true, reason is true, explanation is correct. We can go through option number 1. Now move on to the next that is 49 number. So here is question number 49 everyone. If the distance between plates of capacitor is doubled and dielectric constant is made 4 times then the capacitance becomes 2 times. So we know very well the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor given by epsilon naught A upon D. A is area of the plate, D is the separation between the plates. If dielectric slab is inserted throughout then C dash will be given by K times epsilon naught A by D. Now according to question the distance between plates d is doubled so d dash is twice d 
and k dash is given by 4 times so 4 k capacitance will now c double dash that is 4 k multiplied by epsilon naught a divided by 2 d 2 twos are 4 so c double dash can be given as 2 times c dash so what is happening the capacitance becomes 2 times assertion is true now let's talk about the reason capacitance of capacitor is directly proportional to dielectric constant of the material yes absolutely true inversely proportional to distance between them this is also true so that's why assertion is true reason is true explanation is also true we can go through option number one which is absolutely correct now move on to the next that is 50 number so here we have question number 50 everyone assertion as the drift velocity decreases the current flowing through conductor increases we know very famous relation electric current is given by n e a v d where n is charge concentration e electronic charge a area of cross section and v d is the drift current if we increase the drift current electric current should be increase not decrease assertion goes wrong let's talk about the reason the current flowing through the conductor is inversely proportional to drift velocity also wrong so we can go with option number four only now move on to the next that is 51 number 